May it please you, Lord. Yes. This is a case, your Lordships, where proceedings were initiated. If I may be allowed to just pass on this short synopsis that I have prepared for your Lordships. So, who is appearing for respondent? The state is, is the contesting party. Your Lordship, yes. what state is the contesting? The short question involved in this case is proceedings were initiated under the Urban Land, uh, uh, Urban Land Sealing Act. Now, what has happened is your Lordships. In 84, the proceedings were initiated. However, till date, your Lordships, now we are in 2023. Till date, the position has not been taken from the petitioner. Now, in the year. The state records are there. My, my Everything is there. They have finally replied on page uh, of January. So, you have a position. Liya? That is the only point to that be decided. Is You please the entire fit in uh, our return and my lord in view of the return my lord the in paragraph 5 my lord the petitioner in paragraph 5.12 in my return has, has stated that earlier he had approved to this honorable court challenging the action with regard to wrongful inclusion of khasra number 258 under surplus land and consequently order were sought in that petition and the same was registered as MP number 3089-87. In which initially interim order was passed, but subsequently the same has been dismissed for bond of prosecution. 3089 oblique? Uh, 3089 oblique 1987. 87. 87, yes. In which initi initially interim order was passed, but subsequently the same has been dismissed for bond of prosecution on 30th 7, 1999. It is submitted once the petitioner has raised. It was raised dismissed in 1999. Bond yes. of prosecution. Yes. It is submitted that once the petition has raised collateral issue pertaining to inclusion of Khasra number 258 in the original sealing case and the opposite petition was dismissed for whether reason that again, then again petition cannot, cannot raise the sealing proceeding although similar relief may not have yes, been yeah, can I have my yes. Yes. yes, yes, sir, uh, two very important aspects in this case, 1987 when the MP was filed. It was only with respect to Khasra number 258. Why? Because we, there were four Khasras so allowed. ought to have raised all the claims together. Aap the, we had no right. Kar sakte no, if I may be allowed to just uh, explain this, your lord. Yes. This petition has been filed subsequent to 1999 because our right came in 1999 with, uh, uh, when this act was passed by the, uh, your lordship's legislature, Urban Land Sealing and Regulation yes. Repeal Act 1999, which states that if on in 1990 till 1999 if possession has not been taken this i have a copy of that if yes. your lordships may. section 3 may be seen your lordships of this this says that if possession has not been taken the actual possession then after that after the, the this repeal act possession cannot be taken that is what the judgment was also says your lordships so the earlier petition the mp that my learned senior is referring to was on a different aspect we had expressed our desire what is the date of final order in MP 3089. Uh, 3089 MP 13799. 13799. Sir, 22nd March 99, but it was not late. It was not it the petition was filed. Uh, if your lordships may kindly come to annexure P2. I'll explain what has happened, your lord. Yes. Annexure P2 uh, starts from page 35. Yes. Your Lordship, this is whereby the petitioner has had expressed his uh, your lordships uh, the petitioner has expressed his desire to retain khasra number 258 and this was not allowed subsequently that petition was filed in this case if the present prayer is uh, referred to your lordships for once it will it would reveal that we are only claiming that what the state so 258 could not 258 and 260 both are involved in this case, four Khasra numbers are involved, including 258 and 260. And my submission to that, your lordships, would be, I, I bow down to if, if their uh, submission is taken at its face value. I say that my defense, whatever I'm making, uh, whatever and statement I'm making. filed ma petition in 22. Uh, absolutely. Uh, 2012, after a period of 12 years. Yes, your lordships. My yes, submission. Aapka wo ho gaya tha. Amendment. Aapne saal baad waise bhi kiya hai. Why this court there is a delay. Entertain? There is a delay on the part of the petition, and I bow down to that, your lord. So dismiss. But, nothing uh, remains. Sir, ek baar, meri bas baat sun Yes. There is a delay on part of the petition of. Kya reason diya hai aapne delay? Ko? Well, yes. Sir, it was. If sir, ek baar main, if I. What may... is the reason for delay?
you know in para four the pt has declared that there is no delay in filing the prime petition i'll i'll submit to that your lord sir there yes. is not delay on part of the petitioner rather a delay their uh, uh, their statement is your lord sir 12 years ka delay hai that is their contention i my respectful statement to that your lord sir is unke action mein 40 years ka delay hai and we have only waited that they are uh, the, act batai urban land sealing act is maine pass abhi pass hmm. yes sir repeal act section 3 may be seen yes section 3 subsection 2 Mary developed section three subsection two, where it uh, where any land land is deemed to have been vested in the state government under subsection three of section ten of the principal act, but possession of which has not been taken over by the state government or any other person duly authorized by the state government in this behalf or by the competent authority, and any amount which has been paid by the state government in such uh, land to such uh, with respect to such land then such land shall not be restored unless the amount paid if any has been refunded to the state government in our case no amount was paid subsequently section 4 abatement of legal proceeding all proceedings re relating to any order made or supported to be purported to be made under the principal act pending immediately before the commencement of this act before any court tribunal or authority shall abate so my respectful submission your lot would be that only this section may be given effect only this uh, uh, may be observed that the proceeding has abated that is what the supreme court says in the 2014 judgment that i have uh, supplied to your no lordship. relief can be granted to you uh, your lordship it may not be mentioned it may not be stated that the land belong to me i am only with respect to the limited question that the proceeding has abated they do not have any right there is a specific bar the legislature has so come down when they will undertake the proceeding you can raise the defense sir that's all bahi that is aapko koi relief thodi na diya ja sakta hai it may be observed that your right to relief has been extinguished only right to defend survives sir to so my submission you have a right you can my submission right. to that your lordships if delay ki baat agar dekhi bhi jaye sir there is a delay on their part of more than around 40 years they cannot take this defense ki hamare end pe delay hai they are not taking any defense no, i am just i am it just for bringing, you to explain the delay i am just bringing this on record your lordship it was as soon as this act came into picture your lordships the reason why we have not approached this court is because in 1999 this specific so act has come it was made enforceable in 2001 aap 1 se 12 tak kya karte rahe sir as soon as this act came our uh, we had no uh, uh, the question did not arise of filing a petition subsequently when we realized that they are still approaching us they are still making uh, uh, they are trying to take this these lands from us we have come before this court as soon as this act came which specifically bars that all suits which are all cases which are pending in which actual position has not been taken all why you position lene batai which forced you to sir that is why we have filed this petition 2012 mein ye kabhi aayi nahi position lene सर कभी सर व्हेन वी वेंट टू द अथॉरिटीज टू 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 सर चेक दिस कि वेदर दिस इज स्टिल पेंडिंग और नॉट बिकॉज दिस ऑट नॉट टू हैव दिस कैन नॉट रिमेन पेंडिंग द द इशू ऑफ डिले मे बी केप्ट मे बी डेल्ट विद सेपरेटली योर लॉर्डशिप्स फॉर अ मोमेंट बट दिस हैज टू बी सीन देयर देयर राइट हैज बीन एक्सटिंग्विश्ड बाय दिस एक्ट देयर राइट टू टेक पोजीशन देयर राइट टू रिमेन इन पोजीशन that is that is my only submission that is my only submission sir mai ye nahi this is not my submission that uh, this honorable court may pass an order stating that the land belong to me i am only with respect to that in light of Once section state comes to take possession then you can take defense ki sahab hogi to abate hogi your lordship that but only you lead to multiplicity of petitions because there is a specific bar only this may be observed that section 4 has abated all uh, proceedings so because this, this I, court should overlook the law that is That is the law, Your Lordship. I am reading what the section says. बताइए क्या बोलता है लो. Section four, sir. अभी मैंने just रस... section three limitation act पढ़िया. फिर section four देखिए. कि आप ये petition आपकी entertainable है या नहीं है. Your Lordship, only because when we uh, realize that they are still uh, the proceedings are still continuing, Your Lordship, we have come before this court. Only subsequent to that, and my submission is, Your Lordship, this court may look, uh, this court may strike down all the reliefs that uh, that have been claimed in the petition, but only to the limited extent of Section Four of the Repeal Act. Only with respect to that, if this honourable court may take notice of Section Four, that the pro the proceedings have been abated. Again, Your Lordship, if uh, subsequent to uh, Your Lordship's order, if they uh, come come to uh, my lands and they take possession of the land, it will only lead to harassment of the petition. 
and since the legislature has in its kind wisdom you lotus if it is abated then you remain in position that is sir mera utna hi kehna hai kyunki if their reply is seen for a moment they have filed every time before this this day you lotus when the petition was listed for hearing every time the honorable court has requested their stance with respect to this whether uh, position has been taken or not let their uh, you lotus may kindly see their reply this is nothing but an evasive denial of the whole uh, contention raised by the petitioner not even once have they have stated that proceedings have been completed let them show where the the uh, position has been taken they, my, i am making a statement before your lordships that they would not be able to uh, uh, show that because state, uh, the position till date is with me i have filed documents to uh, establish that and your lordships only with respect to section 4 i am claiming a relief that now proceeding has been uh, abated against the petition petitioner has filed this petition under article 226 of the constitution of india making following prayer ye puri prayer likh dijiye full stop council appearing for petitioner submitted that possession of land has not been taken therefore proceedings initiated by state government has stood abated as per repeal act of 1999 ट्वेंटी Uh, on the strength of section 3 and 4 of repeal act that all legal proceedings stood abated pending immediately before commencement of this act before the court tribunal or any other authority full stop if possession of land has not been taken by the state court full stop it is submitted that petitioners are still in possession therefore reliefs which are prayed for in this red petition be granted to petitioner government advocate appearing for state opposed the said prayer and submitted that earlier petitioner has filed mp number 3089 of 87 said miscellaneous petition was dismissed by order dated 13799 full stop petitioner had made a claim that khasra number 258 258 and 260 has wrongly been included in uh, in proceedings under urban land sealing act 1976 full stop it is submitted that since petition has been dismissed earlier in 1999 and petitioner has not uh, included on all, all his claims in said petition therefore subsequent petition which has been filed by petitioner is barred and petitioner cannot claim any relief by filing fresh petition after dismissal of mp number 3089 of 87 full stop it is also submitted that miscellaneous petition filed by, red petition filed by petitioner also suffers from delay and latches act uh, ribby lacks act uh, ribby lacked is of 22nd march 1999 same came in force on kawaya with effect from dash and date dal dena in state of mp after coming into force of said act petitioner failed to take any action and did not file any petition or proceedings before this court regarding abatement full stop it is submitted that since there is delay and latches in filing red petition and petition cannot be entertained after period of 12 years for granting any relief to the petitioner The relief of petitioner stood extinguished by lapse of time 
and petitioner cannot get any remedy from court of law. In these circumstances, prayer is made for dismissal of red petition, heard the call stops. Thereafter, notice for taking possession of land was issued on 2985. Final notice was issued on 171089. Full stop. Ribi Lakh came into force in year 2001 in state of NG. From 2001 to 2012, no action has been taken by petitioner to approach the court of law. Full stop. In view of aforesaid circumstances, no relief can be granted to petitioner. As petition suffers from delay and latches, petition has been filed within after period of 12 years. Full stop. In view of saying, red petition filed by petitioner is dismissed for delay and latches. Petitioner will, as the rights of petitioner is not extinguished by, uh, by delay, Therefore, petitioner will be at liberty to raise all defenses which are available to him if any proceedings are initiated by state government against him. Or dismiss them with the force of direction that petition is disposed of and dismiss attack them. Well, yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes.